Okay, so it's day two of Lent. I'm in my closet because people are doing a film shoot in my apartment. Um, so that's kind of random. But yeah, today we're going to talk about community. So I just got back from hanging out with a group of guys basically discussing the faith. And we had one of my favorite priests there, Father Scott from our local parish. And we were just discussing the faith. Just a bunch of guys sitting, drinking, smoking, discussing the faith. You know, pretty standard stuff for the Catholic Church. And it got me thinking about the idea of community within the church. Community is such an important aspect of what we do that a lot of people start to overlook. There are two different types of community I want to touch on. Firstly, the community of men with men and of women with women. I don't know what women do when they're all together. I've been trying to figure that out. That up for years and no one will tell me. When guys are hanging out with guys, it's very important because we almost have this need to get together with people of the same gender and discuss what it means to be a man. Not just what it means to be a man, but like there are some times where guys need to be with guys and just discuss things that are I don't want to say manly, but like guy things. Like girls don't want to talk about football or politics half the time. Um, if you're a girl and you love discussing football and politics, I apologize immediately. Just end the video right here. It's so important as guys we have an area and a time to be able to communicate, even if it's impromptu. Like it's so important just to be able to talk to each other. Like when we're going back and forth talking with people of our same gender about things that matter to us, we become inspired by who those people are and want to be better as people. That is so important. I'm guaranteed it's the same thing for women, but again, I don't know. And then there's community between people of the opposite gender. Now, a lot of people say that, oh, guys and girls shouldn't hang out on their own. And honestly, a guy and a girl hanging out just being friends, there's nothing wrong with that. And guys and girls hanging out in a big group, super nothing wrong with that. Because when guys and girls hang out as a group, it becomes a Christian element to its fullest. And we all have different aspects we bring out of each other. For example, like when I'm with certain people in a mixed group of guys and girls, I'm often a lot quieter for some reason. I don't know why. I just am. Archbishop Fulton Sheen said the holiness of a moment will inspire a man to be better, so that is also true. In all honesty, it's about the communion of saints. We are not meant to be the communion of guy saints, the communion of girl saints. We're meant to be the communion of saints in general. As such, it's almost a duty to be able to hang out with people of both genders regularly. And it's important for anyone who wants to form good Catholic youth to be able to have a place and a time and foundation for people to hang out together as guys and girls as Catholics, talk, even if we're just talking about the faith, right? Even if we're just saying, you know what, here's how I feel about the faith, or here's how I pray, blah, blah, blah. Or just saying, you know what, let's talk about theology of the body for a few minutes casually. Or even if it doesn't have to do with the faith at all, even if we're just saying, hey, we're gonna watch Monsters Inc. together. We're gonna be in community with each other watching Monsters Inc. Fight me. Why did I choose Monsters Inc.? I don't know. I bet I could come up with something theological for it, but it's really tired because it's late at night. If we stop having community, we're gonna have a major issue. That issue being, we will stop understanding what it means to live with our Catholic brothers and sisters. And if you think about it, any time in history when someone was raised up, when God raised up a saint, there were always a saint next to them. Every single time, every time. Francis had Claire, Benedict had Scholastica, I could go on, but those are the only two I can think of right now. I noticed both of those were a guy and a girl. Yes, because the church has is a multifaceted thing. Remember, God, when he created, Fulton Sheen says this in Three to Get Married, when he created um, Eve, he took, Adam was a whole person before. I talked about this in a different video. He had masculinity, femininity, um, a body and a soul. And then when he made Eve, he just took away the femininity and created for her a body and soul. So Adam is body, soul, and masculinity, and Eve is body, soul, and femininity. Basic basic gist. There's another video it popping up right here, what it looks like. You can just find it in, th in find the thumbnail or just description. So we need to be together as a group. Even priests have friends who are female. Pope John Paul II had a friend who was a great, he wrote letters to, who is a female. Is that bad? No, because we are meant to be in communion as people. If you are a Catholic, if you're a Christian, doesn't matter if you're talking about Jesus, doesn't matter if you're talking about Bolt. Do you guys remember that movie? It was about the dog with the lightning bolt on his fur who thought he was a superhero. No matter what you're doing, you need to have a community. And if you don't have a community, especially during Lent, keeping your accountable and keeping you growing in the faith, it will be so hard to be a Catholic because we're in trouble right now because we're at a point in our lives where everything that we do is being tempted and tried and broken by the opposition, by the worldly images of everything that we see, hear, touch, taste, smell. The world's trying to tear us down. So we need people with us, alongside us, being able to make sure that we stay strong in the faith, encouraging them to stay strong in the faith through both example and actual, like, 
helping each other and convincing each other, yeah, no, we need to stay strong in the faith, just stay strong, my guy. If we do not have that, we are going to run to a problem because we are going to stop if we don't have that, we're, if we don't have this, we're going to run to a problem because we are going to stop on remembering. Hey, I need to be, I need to be captured. Today. We need someone to call us out sometimes. Sorry, it's the truth, and we need someone we do good to lift us up. So community is so incredibly important. That's the message for this second day of Lent. And thank you for watching this episode. If you have any questions or comments about this, put it down in the description below. Let me know what you think. Check out on Instagram. Check out my other channel, The RC. Again, link in the description. If you have anything you want me to talk about, leave that down there too. And you know what? Remember, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Rise up and live. Stay.